phonedike.com, and this is the Google Nexus One. Do a little unboxing for you. Um, I am not sure if you buy the phone, if you get this stuff with it, you know, if you uh, order it direct as a consumer, because I got mine uh, from the Google PR team. So let us know in the comments if you get uh, this stuff too. Not that it, it's going to change your life, but it's always good to know. So outside of the box, you get the little Nexus One pamphlet, uh, hardware specs, software highlights, that kind of thing. Again, you know, I don't know if this is a PR, little PR tear sheet, or if it's a uh, something you get in the consumer box. And then I also at least got 20 tips and tricks on Nexus One's key features. So uh, if this is a PR special, I'll have to find a way to post this to the website. Phonedog.com is the website, so you'll know how to say navigate to pizza in a more easy, quick fashion. Well, let's get to the box itself, the Nexus One from Google. It's available now direct from google.com slash phone, uh, $529 unlocked, or $179 with a two-year T-Mobile contract. As of now, it's only available, if you want the contract deal, it's only available uh, via T-Mobile USA, soon coming to Vodafone in Europe, and a CDMA version coming to Verizon in the U.S., in the box, you get the phone itself. Are you, did you notice the little, uh, it's very subtle, but I actually kind of like it, the little color trim there on the side of the box. It's kind of nice. Anyway, you get the phone. Welcome to Nexus One. It's covered in protective plastic. Enjoy your favorite Google apps and more all at your fingertips. To learn more about your phone and all its goodies, please visit google.com slash phone. So here's the phone itself. Made by HTC, Google branded. Also in the box, you get a case, a little, uh, little pouch, neoprene, with a little Android logo on it, a little robot. You get some quick directions, how to set up in five steps, warranty statement, and then a book that says important. Uh, Google.com slash phone support. Interesting to see that because uh, Andy Rubin was talking at CES about how and having some issues, their customer support needs to get better. Uh, so I'll have to find out more about that. Also in the box, then you get a bunch of stuff. Looks like it's all packaged in uh, HTC's new, uh, I believe this is all made out of cornstarch, because my HD2 review unit that I got um, had these bags as well, made from cornstarch, a little more eco-friendly. Kind of cool to see. So your charger, uh, it's micro USB based. And then you also get open these up. Charger I'll leave in the packaging for now. I have <laughs> far too many chargers. Uh, you also get headset, uh, three and a half millimeter stereo headset, little inline microphone, remote control thingy, little Android logo, little robot logo on the uh, side of the earbuds there. And then a couple little foamies and a little shirt clip. And a USB data cable. So that's what you get with your Nexus One. Take the uh, film off here. Perhaps the most complicated protective film cover I have yet to see on a phone. Very comprehensive. It's like origami. I wonder if you could make this into a dock afterwards. I was thinking about that earlier. It'd be kind of cool. Oh, the phone just started up. Well, it'd be kind of cool if somebody made packaging that uh, you could then somehow, instead of the packaging, you know, everybody's talking about using minimal packaging and recycling and that kind of stuff. What if you could reuse the packaging and somebody made packaging that you could turn into like a dock or a stand for your phone? I know people have done that on their own. It'd be cool if a company did that. There were little directions that were like, don't throw the box away. Here's how to refold it to turn it into a dock. Anyway, uh, Nexus One starting up. Again, it's a unlocked GSM phone that's now shutting down. Interesting. <laughs> um, it's an unlocked GSM phone. Uh, quad band GSM and Edge, and then it also has support for 3G, but only T-Mobile USA's 3G at this point. So if you're using it on AT&T in the U.S., or uh, another GSM carrier abroad, you're only going to get Edge. You're not going to get 3G. Of course, it does have Wi-Fi as well. Um, let's plug it in, get some power here. All right, so here we go. A little more juice for booted up. Welcome to the Nexus One. Touch the Android to begin. 
Uh, quick look around the phone, you've got four touch sensitive controls on the bottom. You've got a trackball with a multicolored LED notification light inside of it. On the back, five megapixel camera autofocus with flash. Uh, this little bar here, soft, kind of slightly soft grip plastic, nice finish to it. Uh, this bar here is where you can get uh, custom engraving if you buy the phone. On top, 3.5mm headphone jack, there's your power switch. On the right side, nothing. On the left side, rocker switch for volume. On the bottom, there's your uh, USB connector for data and charging and whatnot. You just saw the uh, accelerometer kick in. Here's the, uh, we'll go through the tutorial and then we'll wrap this up because it's just an unboxing. Uh, lots more coverage on PhoneDog.com as well as DroidDog.com. Uh, PhoneDog John and his crew of Android fanatics covering the, uh, the, the Nexus One and all your Android goodies in depth. So check them out as well. And uh, I'm going to sign into my Google account here. Pardon me. And we're communicating with the servers, setting up. So I've got 3G right now. Uh, what I referred to earlier with the support issues is that, uh, yeah, Google location, let's use it, is that apparently some folks have been complaining about their Nexus ones hopping back and forth between 3G and Edge, or uh, not even, uh, even being able to get 3G coverage. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that because, uh, well, I'm going to have to investigate for myself. Got a little smiley face icon there. And there you go, there's the live wallpaper you can see in the background, kind of a Tron thing happening with the multicolors. I can make it, look at that. Boo, 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 boo. Very cool. All right, we'll get more into this later, the Nexus One, Android 2.1, and all that kind of stuff. But for now, quick unboxing. It's the Google Nexus One. Again, it's available now uh, direct from Google. But you can buy it one of two ways. You can buy the unlocked version for $530, or you can buy it on a two-year T-Mobile contract for $179. Uh, but then you have to also, of course, you know, pay for your voice and data plan for the course of two years. So there you go. Much, much more on the Nexus One, Android 2.1, all the Google stuff, all the T-Mobile stuff, all the HTC stuff, all the stuff on PhoneDog.com. Until next time, I'm Noah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.